Okay, it's 513 right now. Pictures of cicadas are popping up on social media as quickly as they are coming out of the earth. You might start seeing pictures of people incorporating the bugs into their meals. WMR2 News is Megan Knight is here to show you how you can cook up a cicada. Megan, you'll be happy to hear that Steve Ostro here in the studio has told me that cicadas are kosher. So our Jewish brothers and sisters can eat as many cicadas as they'd like as often as they'd like. Well, that is wonderful news. Yeah, we certainly wouldn't want to leave anybody out of the experience of eating a cicada. And I got to tell you, we are really in the prime spot for harvesting these little guys. You can see all of these little cicadas all over the sidewalk here. We're along Roland Avenue and Roland Park in uh, North Baltimore here. And supposedly this is when you want to harvest them if you're going to eat them because they haven't developed their wings and the hard exoskeleton just yet. And the possibilities of how to eat these guys, they're really just limited to your uh, imagination there. You can fry them, you can roast them, you can dip them in chocolate. Uh, Jessica Fonzo, she prefers to fry them up in a little bit of oil with some garlic chilies and a little salt. She's a Bloomberg Distinguished Professor at Johns Hopkins, and what people eat is her area of expertise. She teaches food policy, and she says that eating insects is actually good for the environment as well as good for you. They're very high in protein. Bonzo says harvesting and eating bugs produces much less greenhouse gases than other food, food production like raising cattle, and cooking with insects is very common in other places around the world, especially Africa and Asia, and while Bonzo does not think that this trend is going to quite catch on here in the U.S. She is urging people to give cicadas a try before they disappear for the next 17 years. They really don't have like a really pungent taste to them, um, which is interesting. They just kind of taste earthy, but very <laughs> mild. It's really, I mean, if you were to close your eyes and pop one in your mouth, it would just kind of be a, this nutty, earthy taste and you wouldn't really know. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure that's the only way I would be able to taste a cicada is if my eyes were closed. Now, Bonzo recommends if you're going to cook with cicadas, again, harvest them right as they're coming out of the ground because they don't have the wings and their hard exoskeleton. And if you need some ideas on how to eat them, there is a cookbook. Of course there's a cookbook. It's called Cicadalicious. It was created the last time the cicadas were here back in 2004 by Jenna Jaden, who was a time... Uh, at the time, a student at the University of Maryland. There's all sorts of recipes in there. There's soft-shelled cicadas, Maryland cicadas, cicada stir-fry, and cicadas dipped in chocolate, because that's the only way to eat them, right? <laughs> Hopefully I haven't grossed you all out too much. Christian, over to you. I'm going to let you find out if that is the way to eat them. Megan, thanks very much.